right back to the rest of the debate. But first, on a lighter subject, I want to ask each of these gentlemen why they think their wife would make a great first lady, Congressman Paul. Well, she's been my wife for 54 years, and we're going to have an anniversary on February 1st. Congratulations. So, uh, but uh, she, she's the mother of five of our children, and uh, she's a grandmother of 18 grandchildren, does an excellent job, and, uh, and she's also the author of a very famous cookbook, the Ron Paul Cookbook. So, <laughs> Governor? I, I got to take a little more time, a little more seriousness. Uh, my, uh, uh, my, uh, nothing wrong with what you said. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my, my wife is also a mom, and as I pointed out early on, uh, but, uh, but in some respects, she is a, a real champion and a, and a fighter. She was diagnosed in 1998 with multiple sclerosis, and more recently with breast cancer. She has battled both successfully. And as First Lady, she will be able to reach out to people who are also struggling and suffering and will be uh, someone who shows compassion and care. And um, she's also had a passion all of, of her adult life on helping people in troubled situations, young women in particular, understand the importance of getting married before they have babies and encouraging people to create families to raise uh, kids in. I say, first of all, having gotten to know them, I think all three of the wives represented here would be terrific first ladies. We've, Calista and I have gotten to know all three of them. We think they'd be fabulous people. And so I'd rather just talk about why I like Calista and why I'd like her to be first lady, but she's not necessarily in any way better. These are wonderful people, and they would be wonderful first ladies. Uh, but Calista brings a couple things. One is a tremendous artistic focus. Uh, she's done a video on music education, why it really matters. She's a pianist by background plays the French horn in the community band, sings in the choir of the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. She really cares about the arts and would bring a really strong feeling for music education and for art and why it matters to people as part of their education. She's also very patriotic about American exceptionalism. She's had a best-selling New York Times book, a uh, children's book, uh, and, and has really reached out to young people to get them to understand America. And uh, she's helped uh, produce uh, and, and host seven movies now, so she'd bring an entire, I think, artistic flavor. But uh, and I obviously would uh, be thrilled to be able to hang out with her at the White House, so it'd be great. I suspect you would be. Uh, unfortunately, Senator Santorum, your wife is not here tonight. Yeah, she's not. She's, uh, she's doing what she does uh, incredibly well, which is to be a mother to our seven children. And uh, she is, uh, she's my hero. Uh, she's someone who has uh, been, uh, you know, educa well educated. She was a neonatal intensive care nurse for nine years, the, 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 one of the most uh, advanced nurseries in the, in the country. She went on to, uh, because she saw all these ethical challenges there, so she went on and got a law degree so she could, she could deal with those uh, in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the legal world. And then when she got married, she gave that up. She walked away and walked into something that she felt called to do, which is to be a mom and to be a, a wife. And we've, uh, we've had eight children. We were blessed to be raising seven. We've been through a lot together, losing a child, having a child with a disability that we have now, our little Bella. And the, uh, the amount of love uh, for these special kids is just palpable in her.